straight line, get a pencil and a ruler. That might help you. Do you like it? I don't know, because it just looks like a thing with cotton wool. I'm not looking for a ball of cotton wool, I'm looking for a parachute. So what we're doing is that we're making our parachute system, and right now we're doing the door. We're going to take some little tape, and what we're going to do is that we're going to connect just a little bit there, and more onto the edge. Although I have trust on it, it might open in the middle of the flight, but I have trust, so we just have to wait and see that it works. We are making a, a power shoot to make it very nice. Why is it very nice? Because we want to make it uh, uh, nice, beautiful. How is the egg going to survive? Here? Yeah, how? Well, tell me why. Because I know it's here, yeah. because, because it's not hurt. It, I, it's not broke. We don't want the egg destroyed. Okay. We want to be a scientist. But what's your parachute going to be made out of? How is it going to float slowly to the ground? By air resistance. Where's, where's the egg going to go? There. In there. And how is it going to stay in there? How are you going to attach this to this? Stick it. Stick it. Show me. How are you going to do it? So like we are kind of doing. Uh, each one like is doing a part of the parachute. So I'm like doing the box for the egg. He's doing the actual like home for the egg. And he's doing the protection. Together, like a team. Well done. Okay, can you hear me? So let's have a look, let's open him up. Now, normal? if it survived, does that mean the parachute worked? Yes. Yes. Oh, it looks good. Let's see if there's any cracks. Maybe some cracks, let's have a look. No, 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 it's not Ooh, I've seen it. Let's have a look. Yes! Well done. Let's have a look at this one. Now. This one. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna pour it out there. Okay. I think maybe the parachute, even though it slowed it down, because the egg was in here, it just went bang, and it didn't have any soft, um, any softness. It just had this little bit of foam, but it still wasn't completely destroyed. It was still almost there. Okay. Let's get the next one. Right. This one was a really good one. This floated really slowly. However, it had lots of space to move around. So actually, if we look at this one. Definitely well done. That was, would you rather be this egg or this egg? <laughs> this egg, this egg has, has survived much better. So I'm gonna put that back in there. Okay, stay where you are, don't move. Okay. This one, well let's have a look at this one. Completely fine. There's no cracks. There's no cracks in this one at all. So this one survived. Who was this one? Well done, good work. Now this one had the biggest parachute and this one actually floated. It looked like it was going to go over the fence, didn't it? It was very, very good, this one. But let's have a look how, let's have a look how well it was protected. Now this one was good. It had a little door and we locked in the door. Look at this. No, not the bridge. Yes! No! Yes! Yes! Very, very, very good. So, give yourselves a big clap, guys. That was really good. Well done.
Three were completely saved. One was a little bit damaged, and then the one got cracked open. Okay. It's from the tree. I have to say, guys, well done. Well done. An excellent, an excellent science investigation. The bigger the parachute, the better. Why? Why does the size of the parachute matter? Because it catches more air resistance. It catches more air, which creates more air resistance.